Hello, welcome, Kevin here. So let's have a second look at uh, Kato Kiyomasa, uh, the newest uh, Hatcher monster in Monster Strike. Uh, this time we'll be looking at the Ascension version. And then uh, when the character was announced, uh, this was the version that I was sure was better. Um, so let's have a look at uh, why I thought that. Uh, first of all, stats are just kind of average for a Hatcher monster. Uh, she is a blast type, so maybe that explains uh, why that. Uh, but she is a pierce with a null gravity barrier, and then on the gauge she has null magic circle. Um, that's still a very rare uh, double null ability to have, um, and actually still a null magic circle is a rare ability. And then um, this is very uh, suspicious, uh, because she's the same element with the same double null as Lancelot X, who recently got a uh, buff at the end of January. Um, so yeah, maybe uh, sometime soon there will be a high level wood quest, uh, with uh, where you need those uh, null abilities, and you'll be able to use Lancelot X and uh, Kiyomasa in there. Um, she also has dash, which is good, uh, because her speed is a little bit slow for a pierce type. And then uh, she also has a strike shot reducer, which is good for her, uh, because she has a 30 turn strike shot. And uh, yeah, lately, anybody with a strike shot over like 24 turns uh, it's considered pretty long, so you really want them to have the uh, strike shot reducer. And her strike shot is the uh, meteor strike shot, where uh, the damage goes up the more guys uh, she hits. Um, it's nice that she is a pierce, it's easier for her to hit more guys. Also nice that she has the dash, um, so she can hit more targets. And then as a blast type, her bump combos are really strong. Uh, she has the snipe machine gun. Uh, which is what uh, Naraku has, uh, which you get from the uh, Chamber of Secrets. Uh, but she is a blast type, um, so she's the first character to have this. Um, that's 100 shots at 2,000 uh, damage each. And then um, this is kind of a homing uh, bump combo because it locks on uh, to a target, um, and then specifically it locks on to the target with the lowest uh, percentage of HP, I think it is. Um, so it can be good for taking down the last little bits of uh, little guys. And then um, it'll also change uh, targets, you know, mid-attack uh, if the character that you're targeting goes down. Um, so yeah, all of the shots are going to be guaranteed damage, so that's really nice. And then the sub-bump combo is the, uh, the mid-range spread, uh, which is uh, pretty new and it's pretty powerful as well. And then as we can see as a blast type, uh, the damage per shot is higher uh, than a standard character with it as its main bump combo. So it's pretty strong, even as a sub-bump combo. Um, one thing I'm a little disappointed in is that the element of that sub-bump combo is dark. Um, I would have liked to have seen it as uh, red, you know, just to make her even more powerful in wood quests. Uh, but yeah, it'll mean uh, it'll do just as good damage in uh, water quests. Uh, also, it will do extra damage in light quests, so that's something. Um, as for able berries you will want for her, um, of course you would want the uh, kin strength that would help with her direct attacks of course and with her meteor, and then the sidekick to help her with her bump combos. Um, as for quests she would be good for, um, still not a whole lot. Uh, you don't really need the uh, null magic circle for a lot of high level quests. Uh, but with the Null Gravity Barrier, you could use her in Eschatology, or uh, Kushinada, or people like that. Um, I think for general use, the evolution is going to be better, just because she's so versatile. Uh, but we can wait for some high-level quests to come, uh, where you will need the Null Magic Circle, and then we can use her there. Uh, but yeah, as a Pierce with Null Gravity Barrier, she has kind of a lot of uh, competition. Uh, there's Monster Rose, there's Sakamoto Ryoma, there's... Um, there's Kamile, the uh, limited character. Um, so yeah, it's really going to come down to her Null Magic Circle and her bump combo to differentiate her from other characters. Okay, but let's head into a quest, and then I'll bring her to uh, Darwin. Uh, that is the uh, Super Extreme monster that is in the library, uh, who I also think is one of the uh, top Max Lux in the game. I'm still working on him, so I'll be using a Kiyomasa in here. Um, I'm also going to bring uh, Lancelot X. Uh, they are really good partners together, of course. And then uh, Sakamoto Ryoma, who is uh, kind of a competitor to Kiyomasa, uh, but also a good partner. 
And then uh, my max luck will be um, Otsu, uh, who I think is one of the best max lucks in the game. Uh, she's a pierce with no gravity barrier, no block, uh, no gauge, and then the blast bump combo, so yeah. Okay, so here let's look at uh, Kiyomasa's uh, bump combos. So yeah, the uh, that snipe machine gun, you know, it locks on to the character with the lowest HP, and uh, yeah, that's guaranteed damage. That's pretty good. And then here we can see the uh, mid-range spread, which is the dark element, uh, but still doing uh, good damage here. Uh, speed is also slow, that, so that helps with the uh, speed bombs. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this quest is not too difficult. Uh, as long as you can you know, stay away from the needle panels, um, especially when you have the defense down. Um, and then if you have some strong characters with strong bump combos, uh, yeah, that'll also help you get through this quest. Uh, but yeah, Lancelot X, he's really, really good. Uh, he has the Recovery M, so that can really help you manage your uh, MP, in addition to all the uh, damage that he's doing. Uh, strike Shot, also really strong, which is the uh, Pierce, Null, Everything. I did try out uh, Lancelot X uh, yesterday in Eschatology, and he was pretty great in there. Uh, you almost feel bad for uh, Kagutsuchi, because... Uh, once Lancelot picked up the uh, super null gravity barrier, that kind of uh, took away some of uh, Kagutsuchi's uh, niche. Uh, but yeah, Lancelot X has uh, become a pure strike shot, also very strong in eschatology. Uh, makes it much easier for him to take down the uh, kind of the pairs or the set of the uh, little guys that you need to take down in the uh, same turn. Um, but yeah, Sen no Rikyu and then uh, Kiyomasa here. Uh, they are part of the uh, the current hatcher going on. Uh, I guess it depends on when I upload this video. Uh, but yeah, they are part of that current hatcher. And then they're kind of not even the best uh, character or the most uh, focused on character of that hatcher. Um, so that just goes to show how good uh, that hatcher is. Uh, the last character is a Pierce with uh, Null Damage while Null Warp, uh, Dark Element. And then he has the uh, Ricochet uh, bump combo, which is really strong. And then he has the same strike shot as as Apollo X, uh, where the, uh, the bits uh, come out. It's like the options from uh, Gradius. Um, so if you hit the character uh, when they have the bits on them, uh, then they'll do three times the, uh, the bump combo. Uh, which is pretty crazy for a uh, the ricochet bump combo. Uh, but yeah, we're just keeping the uh, damage up, uh, trying to keep our HP up as well. And uh, yeah, that's basically all there is to this quest. And then uh, Darwin, the Ascension version, he is a Pierce with no block and no warp, I think it is. And then uh, he has the Blast Bump combo, and then uh, also the 16-turn uh, uh, Command Strike shot, so he's pretty useful. I look forward to getting the max luck of him. Okay, last stage. Let's start using some Strike Shots. Okay, pretty good. And then uh, my Lancelot X, he has the uh, Spirit Crests. And then I gave him the, um, the Needle Panel Immunity, uh, which has come in handy in a few places. Alright, so here let's use the uh, Strike Shot with Kiyomasa. 
Uh, didn't seem to do a lot of damage, but I think it's just because the boss has so much uh, HP to begin with. Alright, and then we'll end it with uh, Ryoma's Command Strike Shot. So that was Kiyomasa. Uh, very strong now as a um, kind of a turret uh, with her bump combo. Uh, but hopefully we'll see some Null Magic Circle quests uh, soon. Um, so we can use her and the Lancelot X together. Alright, thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.